<laughs> well, we, we have yet to prove we're going to become a big thing, uh, but um, I think it's web. It's clearly web. Everything has to go into the web. I mean, um, my private opinion, really, I don't understand um, why these days I still have to buy a music software and have to buy a dongle, you know, all these kinds of things. Why can't I connect, you know, when, I, when, I, when I've created a piece of music, why can't I connect to my friends? Why can't I share the stuff? Um, you know, everything is like copy protected and, um, uh, you know, everything is individual. You know, if you buy a virtual instrument from one company, it doesn't work with the virtual instruments of the other company. Um, you know, you have plug-in platforms, all that kind of stuff. I think that's eventually going to go away just because of the pressure of the Internet because um, it's, you know, the web has taken over so many parts of your life. Like, you know, photography is happening in the web if you look at Flickr. All the social stuff yeah. is happening in the web. You go, you go shopping on the web. The only thing you don't do on the web, or what, you know, one of the few things you don't do on the web these days is music. I mean, that's, that was uh, ultimately that what the, that started the inspiration of doing New Jam. Oh, totally, uh, totally. Um, Actually, you know, when, when, when Hans and Fred and I, you know, just had campfire talks, uh, you know, about UGEM and, and discussed, uh, you know, where do we want this thing to be? Um, I mean, these guys are really, I mean, they're very wealthy. So, you know, they, they don't start a new company just to make some more money on the side. Um, I think they really had this mission to do something uh, that makes a difference for people. I mean, it sounds pathetic, but it, 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 it was honestly so. And Pharrell's yeah. idea was... I mean, Pharrell always said to me, he said, like, yep, look, when I, when, when I uh, produce a, a record, um, I run between two rooms full of technology. Why do I have to do that? I would really like to sit in front, uh, you know, of whatever, a PlayStation, big screen, you know, sit with an artist next to me and, you know, make great music. Um, and all of us think it should just be easier making music. Um, you know, you, 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 want to, you want to get more non-musicians and more kids to make music. I mean, if you look at Guitar Hero, for example, it's weird because um, traditional musicians seem to go like, ah, Guitar Hero, plastic guitar, stupid stuff, right? But as a matter of fact, um, you have a very, very hard-to-use music studio in Guitar Hero, and they get hundreds of thousands of upload every month, where people, you know, there's a big need by people to create music. Um, also, there's, you know, you, you were asking about market. Um, I think the more people make music, um, the more people will uh, want services like they want to learn music, they want to uh, hire musicians. Um, I don't think that that we will change the way people listen to music. Uh, you know that that market is there and will always exist, and we're not going to change it. But we will probably score more talent. We'll get more, you know, um, services like My services like MySpace, for example, or so. Um, they they could recruit talent uh, using UGEM, you know, I mean, Pharrell said this thing the other day, he said like, wow, when we looked at UGEM for the first time, uh, you know, when we had the first prototype there, he said like, eventually somebody's going to have a hit with UGEM, and that guy might not even know, might not even be able to tell a C chord from a D chord. Um, and and I totally agree. And concretely, we want, in UGEM, we want, to be a mar we want it to be a marketplace for musicians in a way that musicians can contribute styles and sell them. Like, if you're great at playing guitar, uh, why shouldn't you be able to create guitar styles, upload them to UGEM, and when people use them, they pay you money? Or, um, we're, we're thinking about something like a producer account, where um, serious musicians um, create music in UGEM, and then can publish it to iTunes, can, you know, can, can um, uh, copyright it at GEMA or ASCAP in the US or, or, or whatever. So... Um, I'm I'm pretty sure that hopefully I mean you know hopefully uh, UGEM will get more people to make music and when, when there's more people that make something the market is growing. You, I've seen that in photography, you probably too, or video or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That's Uh, yeah, I mean we're not gonna we're not gonna change that debate. I think that's happening to whether there's UGEM or not. Um, what we're planning to do is, um, and we're already talking to record companies. We're also al already talking to publishing houses. What we're planning to do is just imagine you want uh, to do your cover version of a, a popular song. Um, 
if we if we offer you the what we call song DNA for that song, which is basically on paper would be a lead sheet, like the chords and the melody and stuff, we cannot just use that and take that from the artist. So what we're going to do is we we're going to license a catalog from publishing houses. You can you can license whole catalogs of songs from big publishing yeah. houses, and I mean that's the same. Essentially, that's the same business that all those MIDI files companies do. You you license yeah. the catalog, and when somebody buys the MIDI file, you pay uh, the publishing house a fee. So we'll probably grow the business for them. And then also, on the other hand, we're going to be, as, as I said, for companies like MySpace, we could be the same for record companies. They could recruit new talent on, on, on UJAM. Because by the time you have a, a community there, um, eventually people are going to raid what you created. Like, you know, if you have this great idea under the shower, sing it into UJAM, upload it there. You could be a star the very next day. Record companies could see you and, you know, you, you, you become the next uh, German idol or whatever. Um, yeah. So, yes, uh, you know, to answer your question, we're totally aware of all the copyright issues and we're not going to put a risk to our business by ignoring it. We're, we already talked to all those companies. Yeah, for the last six months, all the music I produced was UGEM styles. <laughs> but uh, no, no, actually, in the beginning of this year, um, I reunited last year with a bunch of friends of mine. We did uh, very cheesy techno music in the beginning of the 90s. There are two guys from, from Münster in Germany called the, uh, the Berman Brothers. They're big producers now in the US. They're now in Malibu. Um, and we contributed two tracks to the upcoming Sophie B. Hawkins album. So that's the only music production I've done this year. Since then, it's all been you, Jam. But I'm very looking forward to that album. I totally like the tracks. And Sophie's amazing. Um, well, you don't want UJAM as an answer, I suppose. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, no, I mean for for music production, um, you know, the tool that I'm using when I when I when I create UJAM uh, styles or when I produce music, it's it's clearly Logic. Uh, that's that's simply just because I've always been a fan of the Gerhard Lengeling stuff from I, I think from Super Track or Score Track. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm using Logic, but uh, my favorite music tool right now is my cheap left-hand Stratocaster I just bought a week ago because I cannot play guitar for the life of me it's always bothered me now I'm teaching myself playing uh, guitar so I'm, 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 I, I do that like an hour every day so it's it's huge fun <laughs>